Hi uh, YouTube, this is also X for zero zero X.com and today we'll be unboxing the EVGA NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. This is the 11 gigabytes version. Let's see the side of the box, the back, where it has all the specs, all the features, all the awards they won. Uh, it says that's 11 gigabytes and you have this plastic window that lets you see the card inside the cooling solution on the side. It says GeForce GTX 1080 Ti with the video chip, PCI Express 2.0 graphics card. Let's see, that's the serial number on the card. You can see through it. Let's see the front. Okay, it's VR ready, 4K capable. Let's get it open. Now let's get the padding out. Let's see what's in the box. This is the card branded by EVGA. That's the custom cooling solution, the chipsets by NVIDIA, and it's one of the top cards is one of their best offerings is the, the best 1080 there is there's the ti version with the nvidia chip and uh, there's only one card that could be a better performance than this and that's the geforce titan and let's see evga we have a poster by evga what else do we have in the box We have the user's manual by EVGA, contents, all that good stuff. Now these cards have been in demand, not only for gaming, which is their main use, but also for uh, cryptocurrency mining. Inside the uh, firmware CD, we have a sticker for the case, drivers and uh, Firmware, important notice, standing as a warning, how to use the card, uh, warranty information, customer service numbers and all that, g 4 is a quick um, installation guide, the PCI and why not, and uh, yeah, the collections in the back, and we have the just built in by uh, Max EVGA, Max Performance. Basically, was telling us we can overclock this card. Now let's take the EVGA padding out, and there it is, the 1080 Ti, the GeForce 1080 Ti. We have some connections here. They're power connectors um, because we need uh, extra ports. It's uh, for the modular power supply. See. And we have one just like it in the other bag. The only thing I'm complaining here is they didn't give us an SLI bridge to use two cars in a row. You see, we have, you need extra power to the car, so they're giving you the cables to connect to the power supply, which is good. Okay, nothing else in there. Now let's get to the car itself. Let's take it out of the anti-static bag. Let's see what we got. Okay, and there it is. It's the NVIDIA card. You can see the, the EVGA fans. It has three fans. It has a... Uh, and the... the, 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 the back of the card with the stickers the gpu on this one is the nvidia uh 3584 cuda cores processor with um base clock of 1556 megahertz the boost clock is 1670 megahertz its bus is pcie that's the connection to the motherboard which is 3.0 and supports two-way sli it's ready for that it's the back of the card the front uh, you see the connections uh, you got uh, HDMI, um, mini display ports, and one DVI, which is always useful. You can see the heat sink, the side of the heat sink, the heat sink on the sides. There will come out of those heat sinks, taking out the heat with it. Let's take out the sticker on the back of the card later, but it's protected too. It has one chip, like I said before, but it's 
cool, but all by these three massive cards. Let's take this plastic out one second. And while we do that, I'll tell you about the memory. The memory in the card, it's 11,264 megabytes, basically 11 gigabytes of GDDR5X. The bit width on the memory is 352 bit. The memory clock is at 11,000 megahertz. The memory speed is 0 0.2 nanoseconds and the bandwidth is 484 gigabytes per second. Now let's take the outer layers as EVGA, GeForce, GTX, 1080 Ti. You see the serial number on the other side. Um, it's very well cool and this one it's very, uh, it's not, uh, kind of an elegant design in, on the back. On the side you see the heat sinks again, G UVGA G4 GTX 1080. Let's take the DVI cover out and then we'll take a closer look at the car and check the details on the manufacturing. You see the side, the connections, the HDMI, the DVI, the display port connections. Now we can see the heat sink, the screws, the PCIe slot and all that good stuff. Now let me tell you about more features while we take a look at this card. It supports simultaneous multi-projection, it's VR ready, it has NV NVIDIA Ansel, NVIDIA SLI with HB Bridge support, NVIDIA G-Sync, NVIDIA Game Stream, NVIDIA GPO Boost 3.0, supports Microsoft DirectX 12, Vulkan API, OpenGL 4.5, it has a maximum digital resolution of 70,680 per 4,320 resolution HDMI 2.0B display port 1.4 and dual link DVI it's built for EVGI precision X overclocking and it has asynchronous fans nine additional temperature sensors are distributed across the the board to monitor the memory and the VRM GPU the memory and the PWM thermal status indicators which have LEDs on the car, so the sensors will display that information with the LED lights. The new vented heat sinks, fine design, and pin fins are there for optimized airflow. The safety fuse, which is um, in, in the board, will help you protect the components from damage due to improper installation or other component failures. GA ICX GeForce GT 1080 NVIDIA card. Thank you, peace, and I'm out.